we start though today with the announcement that stopped our newsroom in its tracks. A very popular fast food chain is finally coming to New Mexico and know my friends, it is not a joke this time. We've all seen it all over social media today. Get ready for in and out This announcement though has been a really long time coming. Don't believe it? Here is the official press release. in and out broke the news very quietly today, but the word obviously spread quickly. So Tamara Lopez asked just a few people about how they felt about today's news. So Tamara, what's everyone saying? Well, first they wanted to see the proof, so we had to show that again, but most people could not not believe that the news was real. So in and out has been teasing us by going into our neighboring states over the last few years, but we have independently confirmed once again that in and out Burger is coming to New Mexico and people were excited. Well, uh, if it's for real this time, it, it'll be amazing. Everything fresh, nothing New Mexicans have been hurt too many times, waiting and hoping for the news. But Tuesday, it was official. in and out Burger announced first on social media, it's coming to Albuquerque. Jo Marie Labarski says she's excited for the fast food chain to come to the Duke City. We used to live in Nevada, and so the restaurant was uh, one of one of our favorite places to go. And um, so, if they really are coming out to New Mexico, it'll be um, it'll be long overdue for sure. in and out officials declined to comment on the news, but said New Mexicans can expect to chow down on some of its burgers and animal-style fries by 2027. Locations are planned for Albuquerque, but we still don't know exactly where. I think it's going to be cool, like a new thing to go try with the family if we've never tried it before, you know. New Mexico will be the last state in the Four Corners to get an In-N-Out burger. In-N-Out opened in Colorado in 2020. People we talked to were all excited about the new burger joint joining the options we have here. But after the hype around Raising Cane, some say the California Classic better deliver. I'm excited. I've really wanted to try it for a while now. It looks really good, so I'm hoping that it, it's up to what people say about it. But some online weren't so thrilled. One person saying it'll be a disappointment. Another saying, big deal. Another just hoping it actually happens. And a lot of people asking why we even need in and out when we have lot of burger. For now, the jury's still out until we can have a one-to-one -one comparison. And this was another big question on a lot of people's minds. It's still unclear if the menu will be featuring our beloved green chili for now or not. But we'll be sure to keep you updated with all the very latest developments. Julia, I know we're all hanging on for those. Yeah, and it's that million dollar question. We need our green chili. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens, Tamara. Thank you.